Today we are discussing the third sustainable development goal, which is good health and well-being. The basic meaning of that is having no diseases or mental or physical illness and ensuring that you have a good life ahead of you. So right now we are focusing on the statistics of the people who are living in bad conditions with bad physical health and mental health. One billion people are suffering from some sort of physical or mental illness, meaning that mental disorders affect every one in four people. So what are some causes of mental illness? The first one I'm going to talk about is managing demands, and these might be demands from work or school, but whichever one applies to you, having a big overload of work on yourself is very stressful. The second thing is grief, and grieving or mourning for something or someone too long will actually put you into depression. The third thing is big changes, and this might be losing someone that's dear to you or moving to a different house even, but big changes, whatever form they come in, are an opportunity for you to grow, learn, and strive for excellence. The fourth one is financial difficulty, and although financial difficulty is hard on you and your family, it's an opportunity for you to come out stronger and better instead of going down deeper into a hole of depression. The last thing is lacking a strong support system. It's very important for you to have a strong support system of family and friends around you. So if you don't have one, build one with your dearest family and friends or your relatives and have them there to help you support yourself through a difficult time. So now, what are some causes of physical illness? The first one is a bad diet. When you have a bad diet, or in other words, when your body is not getting all the nutrients needed to function smoothly throughout the day, you are not going to be healthy. The second one is smoking, alcohol, and drug use. These are the three things that are so harmful to your body and these are the three things that you should avoid at all costs. The third one is difficult living situations such as homelessness. Think about it, if you're sleeping on the streets and living on scraps, it's very hard for you to be healthy. And last but not least is a disease. Even if you're healthy, you can get a disease which will cause you to be unhealthy. Even though being unhealthy will make you more at risk of catching a disease. But something I didn't tell you yet is that these two things are so deeply intertwined with each other that they are inseparable. A pretty big cause of mental illness is physical illness. If someone is out of shape or they look sick or let's say someone is overweight. People are involuntarily going to exclude them and th this includes cyberbullying or bullying overall. A pretty big cause for physical illness is mental illness. So if you're grieving that someone passed away in your family you, you're going to be in a phase of grief, and, that's, and that includes denial, anger, and all of those phases. But it basically means that you're going to not care about anything that's going on around you. And you're going to be lying down on the couch, eating, surviving on junk food, not getting any sunlight, not, not getting any fresh air, not going outside, not confiding into a support system or a family or friend, not talking to anyone, just, you know, being mad at yourself or being sad. And that is what makes you a mental health patient because then you just start thinking of all the bad things about life and not all the good things that even if one person passed away, you still have so many other relatives 
that are there for you and they will always be there for you so basically these things are so intertwined together that they are inseparable so what are some organizations who are helping to provide everyone with a good health and well-being the first one is World Health Organization or WHO who is in the lead right now the second one is World Bank and the third one is Doctors Without Borders which is a French origin and its original name is Médecins Sans Frontières but you probably realized that I only listed three and that was because I had a hard time finding organizations who are helping to provide everyone with a good health and well-being. So, you guessed it. I'm going to ask you to, to start your own organizations and help the people around us to have a better well-being and to provide everyone else with a better well-being. Now for some simple solutions. Eat healthy. Most people get diseases because they don't have the proper nutrients in their body to fight off the germs and viruses that enter the body. So, in order to have a strong immune system and a healthy life, you should eat healthy and get some fresh air each day. Exercise regularly. Exercise is also a big part of a healthy life. Exercise not only improves your physical well-being, but also your emotional well-being. Lose weight if you're overweight. Being overweight is actually bad for your health. So if you're overweight, something you can do to improve your health is lose weight. But don't do that by starving yourself. Do it by eating foods that have properties in them that help you lose weight and that are healthy. Sleep well. Sleep is an important part of your life and it's important for both your physical well-being and your emotional well-being. So if you don't sleep at night, when you wake up in the morning you're gonna be tired and when you start working you are putting a lot of stress onto your body and that is not good for your health. So, it, when your body gets so stressed, it eventually starts getting unhealthier. Mentally, sleep also has an important part in your life. Because after a whole day of working, your brain has a lot of unnecessary information in it that you don't need to know. And when you go to sleep, the brain actually puts it in the trash can. So, when you don't sleep, the next day you have so much unnecessary information in your head and when you keep doing that when you stop getting any sleep then your brain just ends up having so much unnecessary information in its in itself that it feels confused and stressed all the time get sunlight sunlight is a very healthy thing and it has some vitamins in it that are good for your skin also most of the time, sunlight makes people feel fresher and in a better mood. Socialize. When you are alone, you keep all your emotions and your feelings inside yourself and don't express them. But when you socialize, you start telling people your emotions. And keeping your emotions inside you is very unhealthy. So, socializing is a good thing for your mental health. Have goals in life. Having a goal in life is very important because when you have a goal in life, you feel motivated to do things that you normally wouldn't do. So, in order to feel motivated and get the things that you need to do done, you should have a goal in life. The last thing, which is definitely not least, is relax. Sometimes it, it's good to just take a break from your very busy life, get some rest, and energize yourself 
for what's coming up next. I hope this video inspired you, you learned a lot from it, and you liked it. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel, Connections, to build and to build well.